heartbroken and horrified. That's how Sherry Rose Shepard felt when she was blindsided and devastated almost overnight. So how did Sherry learn to survive and to put purpose to her pain? Take a look. Former Mrs. America Sherry Rose Shepard is a sought after speaker and best selling author who has been in full time ministry for the past 30 years. Despite her faithfulness to God, she lost everything she loved five years ago all at once. Her 25 year marriage ended and she received a terminal cancer diagnosis with only eight weeks to live. In her book, Beyond the White Picket Fence, Cherry Rose shares her journey of heartbreak, healing, and rebuilding after losing everything. Please welcome back to the 700 Club, Sherry Rose Shepherd. It's good to have you with us. Oh, it's an honor. I was 35 last time I was with you. Now I'm 60. <laughs> it goes fast, doesn't it? <laughs> T Sherry, talk a little bit about your life five years ago. Everything turned upside down. What was going on? Well, I was on tour in arenas with wonderful artists like Mercy Me and Casting Crowns and Michael W. Smith. And my book hit the bestseller list. And I was eating all organic and healthy. And it seemed like overnight everything fell apart at once. I felt uh, like a Job all the way down to the tumors on my lymphatic system, like boils. It was overwhelming. And to be totally honest, in that moment, once I, uh, first of all, I went numb. <laughs> I think there's like a system that you go through. First of all, I just went numb, like this is not happening. It's a bad dream, I'm gonna wake up from it. But as the year went through and I noticed that God uses even the most deepest, pain to do even deeper surgery. But I had never dreamed in a million years my life would have fallen apart that much. I felt like I paid it forward. I was, I'm a Jewish believer. I already lost my Jewish family for being a Christian. As you know, today, my Jewish family is all born again. I have came from a dysfunctional family when no one else came from divorced family when I was young. And I felt like I paid everything forward, got saved and lived happily ever after. And I found out that the white picket fence that we think is represents the dream of America actually represents people giving up their ammunition, giving up their um, fences, their iron fences, putting up a white fence saying, I will fight for freedom and support the military. And I now understand what it means for us to be in the Lord's army and fighting the good fight. And I had to hang on to no matter how many days God gives me, I need to fight the good fight, keep my faith and finish my race, even if it's just laying on my back, dictating in a book, even if it's the one strong day, I have to do a Facebook Live to encourage someone. Well, let's talk but about, I, you talked, you, you mentioned in that, you know, no matter how many days you had on top of your marriage falling apart at that point, you were given only eight weeks to live. That was five years ago. So how have you survived? <laughs> Well, there's a lot of survival skills, but the first thing I started to work on is my broken heart because I saw the scripture, a man's body can withstand sickness, but who can withstand a crushed spirit? So I got the help I needed to fix the broken heart and really began to work on that. And I found my way back to God before I was married, before I had cancer. I wanted to, I asked God, how do I find my way back to you? I feel like you're not with me. And he said, go back to the beginning when you first met me. So I started to play worship music from years ago in the 80s when I first gave my life to the Lord. I started to um, listen to messages I listened to years ago and, and really put myself back to just me and God. Because when this life is over and it's all said and done, that's what it's going to be, us and God. And then secondly, I just realized that I needed to really mourn. I needed to learn to sow with tears so I could find joy again. That was something I wasn't good at. I used to use scriptures as band-aids. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, but there's a process in getting through pain. And that's one of the things that Beyond the White Picket Fence is about. It's not just my story, it's eight different stories of many people's tragedies and the process of what God can do and what we can do to get through those different tragedies. I don't think and most people when they're in pain recognize that there could be any purpose in it. But the truth is you found purpose in your pain. What are some of the lessons you learned that have sustained you? 
Well, one of the things that I learned is every season of suffering has an expiration date. It were promised there's a season for everything. So I hung on to that hope. Secondly, I hung on to eternity. And thirdly, I hung on to my legacy. I thought if I deny God now, if I give up on God now, I literally feel like I would have thrown away 30 years of ministry. And my determination to keep my faith has rippled into my children, my grandchildren. I have a brand new ministry called His Royal Family, where I minister to people's children, to the elderly, to divorced. God has taken all of that pain and used it in His Royal Family Ministries to remind us we're not here for very long. And, you know, I always laugh with people when they go, oh, my word, you have cancer, you're going to die. I said, well, you're going to die too. Yes. News flashed. We all have a life to live and we have to make that decision. What are we living for? Because sometimes when everything's removed, we realize that we were living for everything but the Lord. Like it's easy to praise God when all the blessings are coming in, right? Mm -hmm. But you get to know who God is when all the tangible things are taken away and the spirit of God comes in and truly is close to the brokenhearted, truly does bind up the wounds of the brokenhearted. And now God has given me such a new ministry. And there's so many people now going through devastation. Oh, so and they just many. need... And I, we're, we're out of time, but I just want to mention to people, we have just skimmed the surface because Sherry's book is called Beyond the White Picket Fence. It's available where books are sold, just filled with great wisdom, especially if you're going through a difficult time. Uh, get back to the fact that you, the joy of the Lord is available to you. Sherry, thank you so much. It's great to have you back with us today. Bless you guys. You too.